Greetings, everyone. I'm Lou Brian Smith, and welcome to Enlighten, Empower, Evolved. Hope everybody's doing well. I have a returning guest today, Karina Sosa. Worked in the male predominant environment, studier of people, avid reader. And today, we're gonna get into some things. How are you doing? I'm doing Karina great. Sosa. Thank you so much for having me back. I'm happy to be here. Yes, I'm thankful for having you here and uh, just sharing this energy, this amazing energy with you, as I know that this will be absolutely awesome. Let's talk a little bit about what you've done, what I've done, what we've done to reach towards our higher self uh, this past year. In the, in the past years, I'd say. What, what are some of the, the highlights that you can bring to the table in regards to change, well, evolution, uh, expansion of consciousness, just reaching towards your higher self? Well, I can say that in the past, I would say five, six years, we've made some gradual changes. One that I can think of on top of my head is um, eliminating watching the news. It's, uh, it's a small change that we control and it wasn't that hard to give up. And then subsequently from all that, um, certain TV shows we've let go um, and just being more conscious, aware of what we give our energy to as far as what we watch, listen to, and even surround ourselves uh, uh, us. So let me stop um, you right there, excuse me. Okay. So you say stop watching the news and certain television uh, programs on TV. And key word, everybody, program. It means something. So what have you noticed? Like when you were watching the news, what did you, did you notice anything about yourself, about the way you felt, your energy, just anything? Yes, I, I can recall that um, certain news uh, that was provided to me sometimes left me frustrated with feelings of frustration, sometimes anger, hopelessness, fear, right. um, doubt, and, and just right. a, a more, more of an anxious type of feeling. Wow. And, since, and since I've stopped watching that, it has completely diminished um, all of, the feel, of those feelings that I just mentioned. It weakened them a lot, yeah. Yes. So you feel a lot better? Absolutely. Uh, I so, don't miss it at all. I don't, I don't feel like it, um, I'm missing anything. And in fact, I feel actually better in, so my, what do you, in my everyday life. What do you say to those people that say, ask you, well, how do you get your news then? I mean, what do you, because I, I, I get that. Now I can um, tell you what I say, but I want to hear what you say. I say that I usually find out whatever it is that needs to be relayed to me that it's a like a public service announcement it will eventually make my way yes. so i don't need to be aware of every current event that's not um giving me any positive feelings in my life it's it's not something that i need i don't need that and that's something that i can control so that's why i stopped watching the news Yes. Now, one thing, uh, let me elaborate on that a bit, because people, you know, when when I inform them that I no longer watch the news, I get questions like, how do I get, you know, the stories and how do I find out about this? And my question to them, without trying to uh, to 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 tap into any type of uh, debate or, you know, argument, my question is, to them is, OK. So you're informed about certain things. So what has changed for you that hasn't changed for me? Like, because you know this killing is going on over here. Okay, and I don't know. So what, or this going on in the political, you know, arena. I mean, you know, aside from voting, 
and whatnot, what can you do about the, 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 the events as they unfold, you know, in the media anyway? What, what can you do besides have opinions, you know, whether they be positive or negative? So I say, what am I missing? What is not happening for me? How am, how am I not advancing because I don't know those play-by-play -play drama, the theatrics that go on every day in the news, mostly negative. So, you know, that usually leaves them with some points to ponder. But everybody has their opinions. I'm not by any means trying to uh, discredit anyone or demean anyone who chooses to watch the media. We're simply sharing with you what we've done to bring up our vibration and move towards our higher selves and just feel feel better. And what's worked for us in our household. And, exactly. Um, and that's, I, I think that's been beneficial to us. Another thing that I can recall that we've changed throughout the years is, um, I, I recall one year, you and I being more um, like being in solitude, just or kind of reclusive because we were a little more selective about certain events that we would um, attend or be a part of. And not so much because we didn't like the people or the event or whatnot, we did. It's just that we were more of um, reaching our higher self or our better versions. And we needed to go through that moment alone to get our yeah. thoughts and our, and our program, our mindset to uh, a right. more positive mindset. Right. Now, I forgot who said that saying, but it says um, going through transformation. There, there's a saying out there. I'm not exactly sure how it goes, but it's somewhere along the lines of <clears throat> when you're reaching your higher self or going through this transformation, you're shedding uh, energies and a lot of what you used to have around you is no longer vibrating the same as you. So it tends to dissipate away. And that could be certain friends, family, uh, just situations, scenarios, people have left jobs because they're not on that energy anymore and just decided to do something, go into business for themselves, get a food truck. Uh, I've seen it happen all the time. And it's not saying, like you said to other people that I'm better than you. It's just saying that I'm choosing to grow in a certain way and, and I'm choosing to love me and I have to choose me first. And basically that's what you do. It's, 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 you know, it's no signal or indication whatsoever that you're trying to be better than anyone else or lower than anyone else or judgmental as to what they're doing. It's obvious. It's, it's the contrast that it's, you're just focusing on yourself. Exactly. And when you do, that can be lonely. It, it can be. You know, there's a lots of, of self-reflecting time, lots of uh, shutting yourself away and not in a negative way either. It can seem negative at first because your mind, your 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 body, just everything is, is being shaken up. Like, what is this? It's used to certain things and certain chemicals being released from certain situations and you're no longer feeding into that that can be a shock to your system so it can seem a bit depressing especially as you're going through it in the beginning it can be and you can have doubts it can give you doubts but if you can get through that what you can then it feels so much better as you start to tran transcend to the other side of that Absolutely. of that um perceived loneliness so what else do we have? What else are we doing to reach towards our higher selves? I know we, you, you do a lot of reading. So we've incorporated uh, physically just movement, any type of movement, uh, walking. Exercise. Jogging, exercise. And that's part, that also helps our mental state as well as our body. So that's, we've done that's that. Part of the, that's part of the balance of everything, keeping your body, your mind, your spirit, just everything in tune and in line. And when you're, when you're balanced and yeah, you are working on all those things. So that's great. So what, what do you like to do as far as uh, physically? For physical? Well, right now I, I like to, 
I like to walk, I like to jog and sometimes sprint, but although sometimes sprinting, uh, I've been hurting myself lately with the sprinting, but mostly jogging and walking, cardio. Like and what cardio. do you do that on the treadmill or do you go outdoors in nature or a track or how do you do that? What's your- Well, right now I've been, uh, I have the opportunity at the present moment to be able to go outside. So I've been able to do this um, every day for almost a year and be outside. And at first it was, you know, 15 minutes, then it increased to 20, then 30, 40. And then right now it's about an hour and a half. And through that time, or during that time, I should say, I not only am I helping myself physically, but I'm also in tune with myself and my thoughts and thanking the universe for, you know, whatever I'm grateful, <clears throat> excuse me, at that time. And in some of my nature walks, I've come across some beautiful sights such as several hummingbirds in one walk, um, ducks, oh, just, just beautiful. the beauty of nature itself. Able to appreciate. And that's, that's the key to abundance is appreciation and gratitude for especially just, you know, things like just your, your life and nature and appreciating creation, you know, the universe, God, uh, the trees, the birds, the grass, the smell, the air, the sounds, yeah. the sights. And when you appreciate where you are at that present moment, that opens the door for more, even though that might not be what you're focused on. It's, it's, it's telling the universe, I'm thankful. And the universe obliges by saying, okay, I want to give you more to be thankful for versus focusing on which a lot of times is done. I'm guilty of the same thing, focusing too much energy on uh, what we oppose, um, what we perceive as negative. And that's also telling the universe, I want more of that, the same. Exactly. That's what we have to be aware of. So gratitude is the easiest thing to remember. Just be thankful. And there's always something to be thankful for. If Absolutely. you're alive, there's always something to be thankful for. Yes. Even if it's just being thankful for just people around you or thankful for that you can wiggle your fingers or close, blink your eyes, just something. And I think from if we start getting into a mindset where we're expressing gratitude more often, then life will present us more things to express more gratitude for. That's why I make a conscious effort to express some form of gratitude upon awakening in the morning and before I go to sleep in the morning and, and throughout the day when I'm conscious of it, you know, I try to, to do that, but at least upon awaking, you know, thank you universe, thank, I am so grateful for getting up this morning and being able to, to do what I, you know, want to do, what I have to do and move throughout this day. And I usually send what, what I learned, what I've learned in a book, sending your angels ahead. Basically, it means that I'm already sending out how things are gonna be. Like everyone I encounter today is gonna be pleasant. Uh, I'm, I'm sending everybody peace, love, and happiness during my path, all the drivers safe around me. So I'm just sending out that positive energy through my path, the, the path that I'm going to go. And I think that's, a, that's an awesome thing to incorporate into your uh, daily routine. Absolutely. So... What else have we got? I'm, I'm interested. You, you're, you're on a roll now. So we got exercise. We have, we have what, what, what else did we discuss? We discussed uh, libertine, what we watch. So what we watch, we, we discussed that, you know, on television, that, 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 and what we listen to. And then and also who we've surrounded ourselves with too. Who we surround we, ourselves with. Yes. You want to surround yourself with people who who focus more on, now we all have our moments, but you know, um, if you feel that energy of, of confrontation and always uh, 
poverty thinking, limited beliefs. You know, this is not, again, this is not anything to be judgmental towards anyone. But as you start to grow, you want those around you to grow and or at least be an example to the ones that are around you. And either they're going to get it and they're going to jump on and attach to that energy. Not I don't really like to use the word attach, but, you know, connect. Because I like to say I'm connected to everything attached to nothing, but connect to that energy or not. And if not, the universe will have them vibrate out of your experience. You know, you don't have to sit there. Oh, you go away. But it could happen that way, too. But yes, like attracts like. So you won't feel comfortable around certain energies that aren't in line to where you are or what you're doing, or at least close or trying to at least transitioning there. So, so I can, so I yes, can say that, uh, so I can say that our circle has gotten <laughs> smaller because we've been more selective about who we share our energy with. Yes. Oh, and there's something I wanted to say before I forget. Now, a lot of people might say, you know, if you're starting your journey, especially if you're married or have a significant other or family living in, in your, you know, household, negative energy is powerful, but so, but positive energy is even more powerful. So Absolutely. just know that as you start to do this, unless someone <clears throat> and work on yourself. I'm talking about the reading, the meditating, the the focusing more on positivity to the allowing the negativity to flow through you without attaching to it and then refocusing back on <clears throat> the positive and just working on yourself, self self empowerment, self improvement, self help, self reflecting. Those around you will pick up on that. And if they don't, it's because they're really fighting against it. You know, they may be stuck in a certain box that they don't want to, you know, they want to stay where they are and that's fine. But you'll know that as you work on yourself and you're, you're not in that realm anymore, in that energy, it'll be a lot harder to, to, uh, to, to, to exist in that, that environment. And yeah. So, so what I can say is that from watching you read all these books it's it's caught my interest to read these books and through the process of reading these books I've learned sometimes to reach my higher self I've had to do those changes and and now we're more aligned in the way we think and uh the universe and and everything else has kind of just is falling into place the way it was supposed to so at, perhaps at one point you might have been a little bit more higher or in a different uh, yes. area of, of, about you evolving to your higher self. Uh, I'm yes, catching I up and, say, I'm right, and I'm right there with you now. Yeah, I wouldn't say higher. I was just in a, in a different uh, consciousness, in a different level of consciousness. Um, and like I want to tell people, I started out when I started to reach, you know, your which is trans go about this transformation. I start out alone, you know? I mean, it's not as easy as, oh, I'm working on my transformation. So you're my wife, you're my significant other, you're gonna come along. No, you got you can't force that on people. You can be an example. They can see the changes that you're making and they can either appreciate that and wanna come along or you had a choice at that at during these times. I mean, it, it took you a bit, but that's not negative, but you had a choice to say, no, I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to work on myself. I'm good where I am. And whatever you're doing, that's you. You had a choice to do that. Yes. But you made a choice, consciously made a choice to, hey, you know, I want to work on myself and evolve and grow and change as well in a good way. And what you're doing seems, you know, like a good thing, you know. So what I'm trying that's to tell people is you, it, you don't, it's not a race. It's not a race of who's more conscious, who's more spiritual, who's more. It's not a race. It's, the bottom line is <clears throat> we all have our shortcomings. We're masterpieces and work, works in progress simultaneously. She, you know, she has her different uh, things that she's overcoming. Some, some are, are the same, but at the same time, what I'm saying is we're both committed to growth. 
we have our weak moments just like anybody else or we'll let you know that some other people might not let you know that but we have our moments you know sometimes she's in a weak state some sometimes i am <clears throat> but our goals are the same is to reach our higher selves in abundance in all aspects of our life abundance in health abundance in relationships abundance in finances abundance in, in just everything in life you know to to live our life to the fullest and that's why we connect and and, and as long as you have that <clears throat> similar interest with the people around you not just your marriage not just your relationship with the people around you then you can work with that you, you but don't get yourself in a in a in a state where you feel like every little thing that someone does oh that's something that i can't deal with you know no cuz we're we're all perfectly flawed so absolutely you know when people basically to put it quite simple you know when someone has your best interest at heart you know when people are good uh genuinely um kind people um even though we not might not do some actions that might not seem kind at the time don't attach yourself to that flow through it we all have these emotions that we 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 go through and you can't grab along grab it and say oh you were you said this or were like this yesterday don't flow through it everybody has moments you know and grow right. from it absolutely yes. and you know if somebody is just hindering your growth you have to more than listen to me or karina here listen to your inner voice and if you really silence yourself and get out of your own way you listen to your inner voice and that's what she did i didn't tell her to start working on yourself um, in the same way as i am she listened to her inner voice and it was oh it felt good to her and she still does some of her own different things she doesn't just mimic me you know she's her own and i'm 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 uh very happy and grateful that she is working on herself and evolving she's already her own person but even as far as these platforms and the connections that she's making on her own has nothing to do with me so and like i told her i, I know she's gonna have her own platform in her own uh podcast or show and where she's uh sharing and, and assisting people and doing things for humanity she's already doing it right now so but i can out, say that look out for that we so i can say that you and i are a <laughs> unit however we're our own individuals as well exactly and, and we do have one common goal which is like you said uh have abundance in all aspects in our lives and and we're manifesting it and growth and, um, uh, um, and, uh, and I'm, I'm grateful for the experience absolutely well thank you do you have any uh words to share any uh advice yes perspectives or anything that you would like to share before we go yes i was just gonna say that change can be slow, don't expect it to be overnight. Um, it took us all these years of, of the way we were raised, our childhood traumas. So change is going to be gradual, it's going to be slow, but just keep working on yourself and you will get there. Absolutely. Um, just, just like that one, um, uh, that m analogy about, you know, when you plant a seed, you don't pull it out, You you let it stay in the soil so it can grow. So and it, that takes time. So yeah, we you don't keep pulling it out and checking it to see if it's going to grow. You just exactly. have faith and know that when you plant this seed, it's going to grow. Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're just growing and, and it's, it's taken us this long to be here. And we're, and we're still growing each day. Yeah. And I like the analogy you use because I want to elaborate on that. We're, we're, learning to plant the right seeds in here yes. and take our rakes and getting out the old weeds that no longer serve us anymore those those limiting beliefs superstitious beliefs negative beliefs fear-based beliefs that no longer service and right. also in your in your working on yourself like i said don't attach and don't place blame wherever you come from where whatever happened in your life it's still your responsibility to eradicate things and to salvage your life out of wherever you come from. So 
you placing blame on mom, dad, uh, brother, sister is not going to help anything. It'll give you a false sense of identity, false sense of something, but ultimately it'll just lead to more of what you don't want. So take responsibility for your own life, your own growth, your own change, and reach towards your higher self. Yes. Thank you, Karina. I appreciate you, and I cannot wait to have you on here again. You're such uh, an encouragement, uh, inspiration, and I thank you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Right here. Thank you for having me. Right here on Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved. You're very mm -hmm. welcome, Karina. Have a good evening. Thank you. Peace, love, and happiness to everyone.